All right, everyone, welcome to the very first review on Microcast. From time to time, we want to review some products, uh, let you know what we think, and kind of maybe test drive them a little bit, kick the tires. And the first one that we're going to do today is the light pipe from Spark Fun Electronics. It's the clear core version of six millimeter, and it's a five foot length I've got here. So we're just going to talk about some of the things that they talk about on the uh, web page on the product page of some things that you can use it for and how it uh, works in those scenarios. So what I've got set up here is uh, I just put a little bit of shrink wrap on the M. I just taped it. They recommend uh, shrink wrapping it to LEDs if you want to put like a super bright LED on the end here. And so that's what I've got set up down here on the breadboard. I've got a uh, super bright blue and a red LED from SparkFun that we're just going to hook up to the end of this and uh, see what it looks like. See what kind of uh, the, so, the, so the purpose of this is that you put a light at the end and uh, you'll get the light poking out of this end, uh, but it also bleeds light along the length. And so uh, they talk about it being kind of a cool thing that looks a little bit like uh, EL lighting, uh, except it's not high voltage. You can just stick a normal LED on the end of it. And um, you can get some some cool results here. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Let's go ahead and turn on the LEDs. We will hit the light, <clears throat> and uh, let's just do one of these at a time. Stick the blue on there, and you can see it gets pretty bright right off the front, uh, but it, it dims out pretty quick. And I'm having a hard time deciding if it dims more, if it's bent, as opposed to being straight. I don't know, I'll stretch this out here so you can see it. Uh, but it loses quite a bit. Now as far as uh, another thing they say, you can pop out uh, an LED from a case to the end. I'll just kind of point that at the camera if you can see uh, what it looks like at the end. Um, so anyway, you, it, it gets it bleeds pretty good along the length. It's kind of a cool effect, but if you want it to be a solid color that you're attaching to the end, you probably can't go more than maybe a foot or so. And then if we turn the lights back on, uh, you can see it. You can't really see anything. It's it's not meant for daylight application. Uh, you're not going to get anything uh, out of that. So let me turn this back off. We'll switch from the let me bend my LED back up there to the red. Kind of cover the blue there with my finger. Uh, the red seems to keep a little bit more of a steady color the whole length. It's kind of a cool effect. I don't know if you're looking for some some mood lighting or something. An idea I had had was sticking maybe a, an uh, RGB LED that you could control with a microcontroller, change the color. It's kind of cool. The other thing they mention is you get some cool effects when you put different colors at the end. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so that's what we get there. Uh, so, you know, the product page says very cool results. I was expecting some pretty cool mixing and maybe like a bright purple to come out of this. You can kind of see some purple tones, but it's just a real washed out. I don't know. Depends on what your taste is. This is not as cool as I was hoping it would be. Uh, but still, you, you get the idea. You can you can mix colors and they kind of wash out in between. and You can kind of see if we pull a little blue back. The red goes a little further and get the blue to go a little further. Anyway, that's that's the basic idea. So anyway, that's pretty much it. That's the light pipe from Spark Fun. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, not quite as cool as I was hoping it was going to be. I was hoping it would uh, bleed a little bit more light. Um, I haven't tried the white core. Uh, maybe that works a little bit better. But overall, uh, for short lengths, I think you get more consistent results. For the five feet, it uh, it dims quite a bit along the length so I'd say I'd give it maybe three micros out of five uh, uh, for a rating but uh, depends on what the application is uh, if you've used some of this stuff or done something cool within a project let us know we'd love to hear about it stick it in the comments below uh, otherwise until next time we'll see you case it out okay so I was reviewing the video of this review and uh, I gotta tell you, it looks pretty cool on camera, much cooler than it looks in real life. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, when, when you, uh, I'm referring to when you bleed them together and you put two on the, on the opposite ends, 
uh, in real life, for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem to bleed as well. It kind of just looks very washed out. But I was just looking at it on the, the video that we shot, and uh, that is that is pretty cool. So um, I'm going to change the rating. We're going to go from 3 to 3.5 three micros. Cool if you're doing some sort of a video effect. Uh, you'll get cooler results with that. Real life, I still think it's a bit washed out, but I just wanted to clarify, give you the uh, the real deal there. Okay, sit out for real this time.